Let's start the video with a simple question. So Pawan Kalyan in Vakil Sub movie was a lawyer. No, no, no. He was an advocate. He was an advocate or was an attorney. Hey everybody, this is Buloka Raja Rasam Jetty and you are watching Beer Pragmatic YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn about the commonly used terms and difference between them. And I promise by the end of this video, you will be able to understand all these terms easily. And you will also be able to understand when to use these terms and when not. If any doubt comes in your mind while watching the video, please let me know in the comment section. So let's start the video. The first two terms are lawyer and barrister. Firstly, we will understand about lawyer, whom we call as Vakil also. Basically, lawyer is a person who has studied law, means a law graduate. So the person who has a law degree, whether of 3 years LLB course or 5 years LLB course, that person becomes a lawyer. But being only a lawyer, can you represent any client in the court? And can you argue for their case in their court? No, you can't represent them in court or argue. Next, barrister. The second term, barrister, is also similar to this. If you have studied law in India, you became a lawyer. And if you have studied law in England, you become barrister. Only the terms are used differently, but the meaning of both is same. And similar to the lawyer, barrister also can't represent clients in the court. They can't argue in any case. When a lawyer enrolls himself with the bar counsel, then he becomes advocate. So if you have completed a law, then you have to give bar counsel of India exam. After passing the exam, you will enroll there and you will get the license of practicing in court and you will get promoted from lawyer to advocate. So basically, if any person introduces himself as an advocate, it means that he has the license to practice and can represent their client in the court. Basically, that is the difference between a lawyer and an advocate. We will look at the three terms used for this also. There are advocate, senior advocate, advocate on record. We will learn about the advocate. They can represent clients in the court and can practice. Now, who is senior advocate? This designation is given by Supreme Court or High Court to those advocates who has good amount of knowledge and experience, means who has practiced experience of more than 10 years and have appeared in many cases and how many cases are in their favor. By seeing all this it is decided. One who becomes senior advocate, they wear different gown and coat and their fees also becomes expensive here. Basically, this designation of senior advocate is given on the basis of their special knowledge and experience. Now comes advocate on record. Do you know that only a lawyer can case a file in Supreme Court? Generally, every court has its rules, functions and procedures. Similarly, Supreme Court also have its own rules. So if everyone will approach Supreme Court, then there is a probability that court's time will be wasted. So that's why who are registered an AOR? advocate and record only those advocates can file a case in supreme court anyone can draft a case and can argue as well only for filing the case this requirement or restriction is there that it should be done only by an aor because they know the functions and roles of the supreme court you have passed supreme court aor exam to become an aor the eligibility required for Supreme Court AOR exam is one should have experience of more than 5 years and this 5 years is divided as 4 plus 1 means 4 years experience of any court plus 1 year practice experience under any AOR of Supreme Court and that AOR must have practice experience of more than 10 years. So this was the difference between an advocate and senior advocate and advocate on record. Now we will discuss about advocate general. Every state's governor appoints advocate general for their state. If state government needs representation in the court in any matter, then the advocate general's job is to represent state government in the court. So advocate general represents all the cases of state government because they represent state government. In court, they are called as first law officer of the state. And if state government needs any legal advisor in any matter, they also play role as a legal advisor of state. Now we will discuss about Attorney General. We previously saw that Advocate General represents state government in the court and that's why they are known as first law officer of the state. Similarly, central government is represented by Attorney General. So their job is to deal 
cases of central government and represent them in the court and that's why they are known as first law officer of the country they are appointed by president of india so basically attorney general's job is to represent central government and look after their cases and if control central government needs any legal advice on any matter then they take advice from the attorney general after that comes solicitor general whom you also call as second law officer of the country solicitor general helps attorney general in his tasks and work that's why you known as second law officer of the country now we will learn about two more terms imagine you have completed your law and got registered in bar council of india as well and now you are willing to do something for society that is social service here in that case what can you do our system says that if a crime is committed against any individual then it will be accepted as a crime committed against a state for example ravan committed murder attempt against ram now ram will file a case against ravan but now state will handle the case of ram why because the crime was committed against the state it will be considered as a crime against society and um, now comes your role you can represent state in criminal cases and you can also represent in civil cases let's talk about criminal cases first you may have seen the majority of criminal cases like if you talk about nirbhaya rape case the name of the case was mukesh and others versus ncit of delhi 2017 so offenders versus victims and the state is named as victim so when you represent state in criminal cases means when you represent victim side through state then you will be known as public prosecutor and if you have represent state in the civil cases you will be known as government pleader so basically if you represent victim side in criminal cases you will be called as public prosecutor and when you represent state in civil cases you will be called as government pleader i guess this basic is enough for this video so this was today's video in which we discuss all these terms i hope that all confusions are clear and now you won't call any person with wrong terms here and still if you have any confusion you can ask me in the comment section and you can drop any suggestion or queries over there i hope you have liked this video that's it for today we'll meet in next video bye bye